Hey everybody, this is Dr. Michael Shear with Learn Locator. I'm really excited to go ahead and bring this video to you today, which is an instructional video on how we can go ahead and utilize the new and exciting Locator RTX Scan Body System. The Locator RTX Scan Body is an innovative type of dull matte finish, kind of almost housing cap that goes on the top of the Locator RTX abutment. It's a scan body. It's designed to make intraoral scanning for dentulous ridges simpler, faster, and easier. What it does is you can see an intraoral scanner when you're imaging for a traditional locator or locator RTX case. Historically, I've gone ahead and then utilized the actual housing that I would normally pick up inside of the overdenture. You know, the shiny metal locator housing, uh, the one that's silver with the locator system, or the one that's pink for the locator RTX system. Most intraoral scanners have trouble with scanning a super shiny metallic object. In combination with the fact that you're scanning an edentulous ridge, like an edentulous mandible, which is normally hard to scan alone, you throw in a super shiny metal object, it can be really, really tricky to go ahead and image effectively. Zest Dental Solutions has recognized this, and they came out with the scan body system for Legacy Locator, the original, and also the Locator RTX system, which is the new locator. The reason why that Zest has done that is to enhance imaging, but then also to break down the simplicity of the locator digital solution. What the locator scan body, either the legacy locator or the RTX scan body system does, is it makes scanning easier, but then also when our laboratories process a digital denture utilizing that scan, it creates a perfect sized recess inside of the processed denture, either 3D printed, or milled, or even conventionally processed if you 3D print the model and then conventionally process the denture. Meaning that when you process the denture, the hole that's on the inside of the denture is perfectly sized to do a chair side pickup of the housing itself. At this time, the locator scan body is not designed to go ahead and digitally produce like a metal analog in a 3D printed model. In the future, that could be a possibility for the locator uh, scan body system, but currently it's designed to make intraoral scanning easier as well as the chair side pickup streamlined. Scanning a dentulous mandibular ridges is a challenge. A lot of people will post pictures of a maxillary ridge online, including me. Why? Because it's very straightforward to scan for maxillary arches, but the mandibular arches are much trickier. I'm gonna break this down in this technique video so that way we can go step by step as some strategies that will make this very simple for you and streamlined for your office. The first step we wanna go ahead and do is have our patient with our locator RTX abutments ready for our digital imaging. I find it very effective, number one, to control any of the soft tissues while intraoral scanning. So I'm gonna ask my patient to hold cheek retractors, to hold the cheeks nice and taut during the scanning process. Then my locator RTX abutment can be placed on, typically using a cotton pickup, place at a 45 degree angle and snap it on. You will feel a tactile snap and you want to feel to make sure that the locator RTX scan body is down all the way. Now in our MetaLink software, we can go ahead and create a case file for this patient. For most simple everyday edentulous scanning, I just choose two digital study models, save, and then it'll open up the scan function within the intraoral scanner. In other intraoral scanners, you might want to just choose scan only or just a basic orthodontic scan, depending upon which intraoral scanner you're going to use. Now I'm in the intraoral scanning function of the software itself. I can pick up my intraoral scanning wand, have my assistant air dry the edentulous ridge really nice and air dry. Now I've got the cheek under control. I'm going to use my finger or a dental mirror to go ahead and hold that tongue nice and steady. As I begin scanning, I'm going to scan on the patient's left-hand side and just go straight back to the retromolar pad. Then I'm going to swing down around, around the locator RTX scan body, and it makes for very straightforward imaging because of the dull and matte finish. Then I roll around on the actual locator RTX scan body, making sure that I pick up a little bit of the area underneath the edge of the RTX scan body. Then I'm going to tell the patient to hold everything super still. I want to keep that tongue very still, whether it's up a little bit, back a little bit. Either way is a good way to go. The key is we have to hold that tongue super steady as we swing across the midline. Then I'm going to go ahead and come back. Notice, oh shoot, I'm picking up a little bit of double imaging here. No problem. Upper denture pops out because she was worried that the denture was falling. She wants to help me. So now at this point, I'm going to take my finger, hold that tongue back on the other side, and then just image straight back to the retromolar pad holding relatively steady as I do so. 
Then at that point, I'm going to roll a little bit buccal and lingual, so that way I can pick up a little bit of the details of the lingual, buccal ridge, buccal shelf, as well as the locator RTX scan body. Now, I feel pretty comfortable and confident with this scan, but I want to go back to the left-hand side just because I felt like I might have missed a little bit of the retromyohyoid space. So I'm going to hold that tongue nice and steady, not super duper steady, but nice and steady, swing back around, swing my camera angle down so I can pick up some of that retromyohyoid space. And now at this point, I can click the button on the scanner because I feel like I've got a really good edentulous arch scan. I'm going to utilize the intraoral scanner and inspect the scan all the way around. If I have one or two little areas where I'm missing a little bit of scan data, no big deal. Because the software will automatically go ahead and fill in a lot of these details for me during some of the post-processing stage. I always recommend post-processing before the patient leaves the operatory or even before I have the RTX scan bodies removed. In this case, I have a little bit of a cheek in the way on the patient's left-hand side or on the buccal shelf. I use the cutting tool just to get rid of that a little bit. Overall, I'm pretty pleased with how this scan looks. I can go ahead and click on the check button, which is going to give me the option if I want to add like a dental model or if I want to do just a raw scan. I want to fill in a couple of those little depths and details where I might be missing a touch of the scan. I'll click the middle button and let the computer process. At this point, the patient can remove the cheek retractors. We can have a chat with the patient. How's everything doing? It'll take just a minute or two for the computer to process. Once the processing has been complete, we can inspect the scan all the way around, verifying that I've got all the detail that I need. If I find anywhere on the scan that I just don't like to see, then I can go ahead and easily delete that and rescan. Once we've completed all of the analysis on our intraoral scanner, we can go ahead and dismiss the patient. I know I made this kind of look pr pretty simple. What I can tell you from the experience of, of scanning multiple edentulous arches, including mandibular arches, with and without locator abutments, is two things. Number one, we have to make sure that we keep the lips and the cheeks super stable. It's not necessarily taut. In some patients, loose is better to go. Some other patients, you want to hold those cheeks nice and taut. The computer system doesn't know it's scanning soft tissue. Teeth, soft tissue, doesn't really matter. What it knows is it's scanning a surface map. So the idea is, is, is that if the tissue moves a little bit while the patient uh, moves around or swallows, it's going to cause the tissue to move in different dimensions. So when the camera's here, oh, there's the tissue. Oh, oh, it moved a little bit, but it didn't go back to the exact same spot. Hey, should it be here or here, here or here? And the computer gets lost. What we tend to do is, number one, make sure that the patient is super steady. We ask the patient, by the way, your impression's going to turn out much better if you hold those lips and cheeks super steady here for me. Perfect. Number one, cheek retractors, hold the tongue back, image nice and simple. And number two, we want to make sure that we utilize the intraoral scanner correctly. Make sure that you go back and follow your instructions and basic foundations of the intraoral scanning system. Some scanners work a little bit different than others, but the locator RTX scan body makes it very, very simple. I found from experience that in some scanners, also, number three, we want to go ahead and consider either turning off the AI mode or turning off the filtering mode. Especially like in the Medit i700 scanner, you might have noticed that I was scanning the patient with all of the auto filtering off. I find that a little bit easier for me just because it doesn't try to delete a portion of the soft tissue. However, in some other intraoral scanners, AI and filtering enhances an edentulous scan. At this point, we can then go ahead and number four, another little pro tip, like I mentioned during this video, always post-process before the patient leaves the operatory to verify that your scan looks clean, no double images, because what you see on the scan and what you see after its process is sometimes a little bit different. This has been an instructional video, a couple of little tips and tricks here. Michael Shearer from Learn Lodi. I hope it's been an instructional video for you. Make sure you check out some of the other videos here on the YouTube channel. See you next time.